Meanwhile, on the other hand, Onyx Esports, a bit too experimental on two. Zero turret damage. Zero turret damage. Oh, hell no! Tempo in the team fights. And it's gonna be the what? Ward. Oh, Whoa! I okay. like this. I like yeah. this. Now, the only option available for Dewa United to somehow contest or like go against this Gord is something like Yujong or Lap Lap where they can dive into the back line because Teresa is already banned and it's most likely most likely gonna be Claude banned for Coach Yev, just limiting the option for one. Foundation has been laid already by Coach Yev with the Edith. One of the best cover heroes, if not the best cover hero. This might be a stretch, but if they want to just go for a full front to back like this, something like an Ixia. No, uh, be in sick or he yeah, I told you. Yeah, and Ixia. Oh wow. my God! I mean, Again? me Damn. and Connie have literally just been spamming Yab C W <laughs> in the back. Ixia, Ixia. <laughs> will it finally work? Hopefully, it will. Because you know, looking at, I'm just excited to see. Ixia in play, but then again, let's see, Dewa United, will they be able to handle Ixia in this state? The Sky Kings and the Apostles of God have landed in the land of dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number one. Second skill, not even like, the first skill is needed to secure a whole lane. Now Lanaya. What a threat from Keyboy. A charge from Keyboy, let's see. Oh, good stun as well, and a Mystic Gush in the backside. With the help of Kyrie, we'll secure the turtle, but Sans will be the trade. Keyboy now taking damage from Keys, has to flicker away. Kyrie, though, will find the double in the middle. Oh, another catch from Keyboy. It seems like now Keys caught. Oh, on it. They still want more. It seems like, though, Dewa United will deny it. Onik still leading and winning the early game. What? On top of that, right now, the Streel mid have it's technically been nullified. One of the strengths that Lanaya has on this box here should be that Tyrus Rage. Oh, good setup, but take a look at the backside. Sans caught with the Mystic Gush Keys. Finds out the kill. Kyrie now caught in the front side, mm. and he will be taken down. It's a two kill for nothing. Dewa United with the answer back. Sports. Classic 4v4. Kyrie jumps in the backside. Retribution, though, will fall to the hands of Lanaya. Kyrie taken down. Shoot with the sun on towards Keyboy now. Flickers away. Lanaya with the shield unity gets a stun. Boots will not be able to cover him as oh. Keyboy will not be able to escape this stun. Oh, no Good airborne, but no follow up damage now. It's a 4v2. Bottom side. Keyboy gets taken down. Nice. For Kyrie, that's a charge. Yeah. CW will pop the flicker. Keyboy finding one. No fall damage though. Manaya soaks in with the Bujasans. Good suppression. Keyboy will not be able to take him down just yet. As the Mystic Gush will fight Lanaya. And now Dixon. Onik, they collapse as Boots will be the trade. It's a Lanaya for Boots. Onik with a good recovery. To fight again. Sustained battle is going to be won by Dewa United Esports, but Keyboy. Looking for something here, they were united. Oh, oh what? 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 With the sprint as well, finds the quick kill and the turret. And Kyrie will find Shaco though. It will uh, be CW for Shaco and in the mid side. Almost mid turret falls. I feel like they're still in an okay shape, but oh, good CW, CW. Flicker Divine Judgment connects. The damage is there from Watt and Watt finds the pickoff. No time to cover. A lot. Interesting analogy there, but what? Oh my goodness! What? Very aggressive. Good catch though, Watt. Is this a little bit too aggressive? Good cover by Boots. Watt gets taken down. Oh, the full barrage! Will not be able to find Dixon. anyone just yet. Dixon finds a stun. Keyboy gets taken down. Boots to the backside in the Primal Wrath version. Will not be able to deal damage again. CW though, free hitting now on towards Dixon. Doesn't really get the stun, but Boots very low, but very, very aggressive. Your skill Ooh. damage is also scaling up from your physical damage. I believe Kelra actually built the VOD first, even before Crush Inside, but oh. something's going on. Divine Judgment on towards Boots. Primal Wrath forced to be popped. What? Boots, oh, to the backside one gets taken down by Boots. And the sun will come through towards Kyrie. The damage will not be there as the Mystic Dush will find Dixon. Dixon it seems like no Dixon way. will not be able to find the stun, though. CW gets terrified and gets taken down as well. As one, two, three, four. Four members of Onik will be taken down. Taken your advice. Steer and clear, 3,000. Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie caught. Will be Ooh. taken down by Watt. Wait, with his MDL lineup, 
They are very, very disciplined. Keyboy gets a very good engage in, and they all in on him. Let's see. Lanaya, though, no immortality. Primal Wrath pop. Oh, take a look at the damage, though. Boots will sure. be able to find the sustain. CW forced to use the flicker. Oh! Keyboy finds the two man knockup and stun. One man taken down. Lanaya will be taken down as well. And it will be two for one. Good response by the yellow porcupines. Oh, perfect Tyrant's Revenge and Rage onto two. Sans can. Whoa. Whoa. All in. clear. Retribution will fall to the hands of Kyrie comfortably. Nixon, though, this is the wrong move, I feel like. He can take it now. Keys oh now my God. in an awkward position. What? Will not be taken now just yet. Shaco will provide cover. But it seems like Onik, they know better. They got the Lord. They will push with the Lord. But A OK. -kay. One. Tier one. Wait, conceal oh, play. Out. See, will they re-engage? Good flicker. Boots, good cancel as well. Boots will flicker away. Ooh. Keyboy though will be suppressed. And now the damage has come through the backside. TW pops the full barrage. Nixon gets taken out. Oh, they re-engage. Conceal Kyrie play by Keyboy. Kyrie jumps in onto a Jacko. Force him to use the flicker. Take a look at Key's positioning though. Stanwa and Onik. Next time they make a risk that doesn't work out, they're gonna have to pay. Will you guys pay with Ovo, get a chance to play with Fair Chicken Lemon? Okay, Lanaya pops, face checks, damage comes through. Oh, good suppression! Oh, to it's sad! He gets taken down, good shutdown! And now it collapse. CW falls as well. Kyrie trying to put some damage, suppression comes through as Kyrie looks for an escape with the shield unity. It does not come through. Shaco will secure the kill, and just like that, it's bang, bang, bang. Onik down with three men. Onik have to pay with three of their damage dealers. It's only the tanks, the frontliners left. Let's see, Maester taken down. 15 seconds for Sans. They need to clear, can they? Boots soaking damage. Primal Wrath Bob gets taken out as well. As it, this is it. Dewi United has taken out the Sky Kings in game one. The improbable happens in game number one. Onik with their main five losing against the Rook of the Y United Esports, the newcomers. It's not a pushover. You can never count them out. You can think Onik number one will surely win this one. There is no way that Dewa can win. But like we've mentioned, the blessings have been coming out full force for Dewa against RBL, against BTR, and now against Onik. They're looking to pave the way for a new generation of Indonesian MLBB. Wait, what an upset in game one. And I think like that Lapu Lapu Las Pictures unlocks a whole new stratosphere or strategy of the United Esports, man. It really worked out to perfection. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Onyx Esports, a bit too experimental on two very vulnerable backlines. Just one is enough. Maybe you can go for more like Irithel after that Gord pick to give more like... Uh, there's like two targets that you have to take care of if you're Lapu Lapu and Irithel is actually hard to catch compared to Ixia. So I really don't know what's the approach here. Or do they want to just experiment just because they're like almost secured the upper bracket playoff? I well, don't know. With the rise of Geek Fam, they have to be a bit more careful, maybe a lot more careful because zero turret damage. Zero turret damage. What?